Hey guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share, like, hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I post a new video. Also, if you want to talk directly to me, feel free to send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram is in the video description. Anything related to niche perfumery, I'll gladly answer any questions. So in this video, we'll be talking about Sunrise Ruby from Jazil Perfumes. Uh, this is a limited edition to, to the Jovoy store. Uh, this one's limited to 111 units. This is the unit number nine. So uh, let's start with the presentation here. Like I said, uh, number nine of 111, exclusive to the Javoy store. This is this this presentation is really really nice, lovely presentation. So, uh, magnetic lock. Here's our, a certificate of authenticity signed by the perfumer, Ali Alzabi. Really, really, really nice. So the fragrance is presented to you this way. Very beautiful and luxurious presentation. Love it. Here you have uh, this letter. Uh, here you have uh, the notes and a, a brief description of the, the fragrance. Here we have the bottle. Let me wipe this. Beautiful, beautiful bottle, just like the other Jazil bottles. Uh, this one's an extra de perfum concentration. Uh, most of Jazil fragrances come in eau de perfum concentration. Then you have Gala, which is perfum concentration. And now you have Sunrise Ruby, which is extra de perfum. Uh, just like Gala, Sunrise Ruby is made of 100% natural ingredients in a very hard to get ingredients. Hence why I believe the this is a limited edition. Just like Gala, Gala is not a limited edition, but uh, the, the production of Gala uh, is kind of limited. How many bottles they can make per year is limited because the, the ingredients are all natural and hard to get. So uh, let's talk about the notes for Sunrise Ruby. <clears throat> so uh, here we have top notes of black pepper, Persian saffron, bergamot raggio calabria, and raspberry. Uh, in the heart, we have clary sage, Bulgarian rose, and Italian Tuscany Auris. In the base, we have amber, patchouli, uh, patchouli from, from Singapore, and Virginian cedar. So, uh, what kind of smell do I get from Sunrise Ruby? Uh, before I looked into the notes, uh, the what I was getting most here was this red fruity smell that to me is smelled like strawberry. However, it is not strawberry. When I look at the notes, I found out that it is actually raspberry. This is a very juicy, very photorealistic, natural smelling raspberry. Uh, for sure, the the best raspberry I have smelled in a perfume in a perfume before. I mean, uh, the best strawberry I have smelled in a perfume. Very natural, photorealistic, and juicy. Uh, like I said, for sure, the best smelling raspberry in a fragrance. Uh, 
um, that I have smelled. So uh, I get this red fruity smell, which is the raspberry. Then after that, I get uh, the Bulgarian rose. And then uh, after the Bulgarian rose, what I get most is the, is the saffron combined with the black pepper, which gives this fragrance this very warm, kind of sticky and sensual touch to the fragrance. Uh, then after the, after that, what I get most are the the woody touches. Uh, this fragrance is a, a little bit woody, and that's what I get most after those notes I mentioned. So, uh, like I said, uh, the star of the show here is definitely the raspberry. So you get this very juicy, photorealistic, natural smelling raspberry uh, combined with the with Bulgarian rose petals. Uh, which smell amazing then you get this very warm sensual kind of sticky uh, smell coming from the the saffron with the black pepper and a little bit of woodiness uh, so that's pretty much what i get here so you have this ruby like smell which comes from the raspberry with the bulgarian rose uh, and the saffron and the black pepper gives this kind of, kind of sunrise uh, smell, which is this very, very warm and sticky smell. So it, it is just like the name. It is a, uh, a, a sunrise ruby. A ruby during the sunrise. This red, red smell that smells just like a ruby during the sunrise, this uh, very warm uh, sunrise. So uh, you get, you kind of get the idea from what I'm saying. But uh, this this one smells delicious to me. It smells really, really good. Uh, to me, I like this one this one more than Gala. However, a lot of people may disagree with me. While Gala have a lot of that uh, Middle Eastern vibe, it smells very Middle Eastern, and it is nuclear, it has nuclear projection, very, very strong fragrance. This one is more of a intimate fragrance. This one's very classy, very sensual and seductive fragrance. This one, to me, does, doesn't smell Middle Eastern at all. None at all. This, this one doesn't have that uh, Middle Eastern touch to it. I, I don't get it at all, to be honest. But I like I said, uh, to me, this is more of an intimate fragrance. Very sensual, very alluring, seductive, uh, and delicious smelling. Kind of mouth-watering, I would say. That uh, raspberry is mouth-watering. Delicious, juicy raspberry. With Bulgarian rose petals. Uh, saffron, black pepper, and woody, woody notes. Delicious, guys. This smells, to me, this one smells delicious. Fantastic for the cold weather. Fantastic. You can even pull this one off on a colder, uh, colder summer night. But uh, during the, the colder days, during the colder seasons, is when this one shines. The colder it gets, the colder it is, the, the better this one smells. It smells delicious, simply delicious on the cold weather. Delicious. Like I said, a very classy, elegant, sensual and seductive fragrance. More of a intimate fragrance. Uh, versatility here, like I said, is more of a colder weather fragrance. Uh, but uh, I can see this being pulled off on a colder summer night. But uh, to me, this is definitely a nighttime uh, formal occasion fragrance. And perfect for intimate situations. Perfect for intimate situations. But uh, definitely a nighttime colder weather fragrance. Um, performance here, I get about uh, 10 to 12 hours longevity on my skin. Projection is moderate for the first few hours, like four to six hours. Uh, leaves and 
leaves a very seductive, alluring scent trail. After the four to six hours mark, this one sits closer to the skin. Uh, so uh, from the opening until the until like the six to seven hour mark, uh, you get the same smell, that uh, ruby-like red smell, red fruity smell, and that uh, very warm, kind of sticky uh, aspect coming from the saffron with the black pepper. So red smelling, very warm and sensual fragrance with a woody touch to it. That's the smell you get from the opening until like the six to seven hour mark. Then after the six to seven hour mark, uh, at the very end of the dry down, uh, it sits on this base of uh, patchouli, cedar, and uh, amber. So uh, amazing guys. I really like this fragrance, really like it, really enjoy it. Very solid release from Jazil. Uh, this is a great house, one of the best at the moment, I would say. For sure, my top five, top six favorite niche houses at the moment. Uh, love all of their releases. They are all very solid, very high quality. They all perform very well. The presentation is amazing. Perform well, smell amazing. Uh, it's a complete house. And like I said, 100% natural ingredients here, just like in Gala. So if you're looking for a colder weather, very sensual, alluring, seductive fragrance and classy at the same time, this is a, an amazing option. Amazing op option. Uh, I, I love the raspberry here. Best raspberry I have ever smelled in a fragrance before. Like I said, um, very juicy, photorealistic and natural smelling raspberry. Simply delicious. So uh, that's it. Uh, for the scent, uh, I'll give this a nine out of 10. For the performance, I'll give this an 8.5, maybe a nine out of 10. Uh, in versatility, I'll give this a seven, maybe an eight out of 10. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Jazil, simply fantastic house. So uh, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have friends who like perfumes, who, who collect perfumes, share the channel with them, let, let them know about the channel. Uh, any way you guys can advertise the channel, I'll be very grateful, help the channel grow. Uh, in this channel, you will be seeing a lot of very exclusive, limited editions, extremely expensive and rare fragrances that uh, you probably won't see uh, anywhere else. Some of the fragrances here you're gonna see in a, in a few other YouTube channels, but uh, some of them you won't, I guarantee you that. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you guys liked the video and see you on the next one.